together and better by the week. We are so excited tonight. We have the Arts District versus the Historic District. So either sides of the river, it's anybody's game. Before we get started, we have to thank our friends at Damasi. They are sponsor for tonight's show. They're both playing against each other, which is crazy. So, uh, George, let's take a look at uh, what's going on in their world. that George had helped you with that from Lehigh Valley with love. That is an amazing commercial. We can't wait to see that through social media and wherever else you're putting it. It is awesome. All right, so let's get this game started. First off, we would like to thank our premier partners who without, this wouldn't be possible. So let's thank uh, Boyle Construction, Historic Hotel Bethlehem, Hyatt Place Bethlehem, Moravian College, Omega Protective Services, RCN, the Sun and Preservation Association, and last but certainly never, ever, ever least is George with Lehigh Valley with Love. Thank you so much for putting this together. Also, we'd like to remind you that we are offering, uh, donate. we are taking donations um, for our downtown for our merchants with our association. There are two ways to make a donation. First is through PayPal. You can use uh, downtown Bethlehem Association at gmail.com. And we also have our handle for Venmo at Downtown Bethlehem Dash Association. So two ways to make a donation. You can donate $5. You can donate $5 billion uh, if you'd like. And we, uh, what's new is we are also offering $5 off any of our passport trails to everyone who offers a donation. So that's exciting. That's something new to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Let's get started. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce the woman of the hour, especially on the hour that she is with Lehigh Valley with Love After Dark, uh, taming those lions over there, and the colonel to my hues, Miss Katie Hughes! <laughs> Hi. Hello everyone. Happy stay evening. Are we all ready to play a really fun game of Bethlehem Duel? Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Without further ado, let's get started. So we have the blue stars, which represents the historic district, and the red stacks, which represents the arts district. So team captains, we have Yana and Missy. Yana from the blue team and Missy from the red team. Missy, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I am the downtown manager of the Southside Arts District. And uh, what I do is I am I am... Tammy on the on the arts on the arts district side. I worked with all the merchants, and uh, we put together fun events like Spring on the South Side and First Friday. And uh, it's been a interesting couple of months uh, <laughs> in the South Side, but we're really excited for next week with uh, out, outdoor dining happening and retail being able to open back up. So we're really excited to have uh, people come on down for first Friday. Dina Hall is going to be performing online on our Facebook page and Pentley Homes. So grab some takeout, maybe get a picnic on the Greenway and uh, enjoy first Friday with us. We're excited. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything that you do. I love First Fridays and I miss them desperately. So call me when they're back on. Call yeah. me first. <laughs> and good luck to you. Yana, you're up next. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Yana Canupis. I'm My husband and I have Billy's Downtown Diner in uh, downtown Bethlehem on Broad Street. We've been in business. September will be 20 years. Uh, we're breakfast and lunch, known for uh, having unique uh, items uh, served with enthusiasm and a creative flair and engaging service. Uh, we are currently open curbside and takeout, and we are so thrilled that we're finally going to be open um, in downtown Bethlehem, you know, everywhere. Um, 
uh, next week. So we're really thrilled about doing outdoor dining. Um, we just, uh, we just, we're just so thrilled and we hope that everyone is doing well, more importantly, you know, we really miss our guests and our family. Yes. And we miss you. I can tell you that for sure. I'll be back. I'll be one of the first customers that you have. Thank you. Thank and good you. luck to you. All right. So Yana and Thank Missy, you. you are up first and the first one to have your hand up when I ask, ask the question, uh, it'll go to you. You have an opportunity to answer it. We're looking for the top five answers. If you get the number one answer, it goes to your team. If you don't, the other team has an opportunity to steal. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We asked yes. 100 professional talkers. Maybe in Bethlehem, maybe not. Name a place you would be asked to use your inside voice. Oh, I saw Missy. What is your the answer? Library. Library, good answer. Let's see, is it on yeah, the board? Good answer Survey the says. Answer. Library, all right. Oh. That is the number one answer. So like I said, that goes to the red team, the red stacks, the arts district. So good luck to you. Same question. Up next, we have Warren <laughs> from Demasi. Same question. Um, how about church? Church. Inside voice of church. I like that. All right. Is it on the board? Survey says. All right. Good job. All right. Up next, we have Lisa. Lisa, same question. Name a place you'd be asked to use your inside voice. What about a museum? Museum. Yes, I agree with that. Let's see. Is it on the board? Survey says. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, that's okay. You still have an opportunity. All right. I'm so excited for this person. Little Red, you are up next. Same question. Even though you don't have a voice, if you had one, your inside voice, where would you use it? Where do you think? Oh, yes. Um, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm so confused right now. Doctor's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so good at this game. Thank you, Laura. Okay. All right. Laura, you are up next. Same question. Inside voice. Where would you use it? How about a movie theater? Ooh, movie theater. Ah. Good answer. Let's see. Is it on the board? Survey says. Movie theater. All right. Good job. You are just cleaning house. Wow. Arts district. Good job. All right. Back to Missy. Captain of the red team. Same question. Where would you use your inside voice if you were asked to use it? Oh, man. Uh, a restaurant? Restaurant. Hmm. Yeah. How about that? Let's see if it's on the board. Survey says. Ooh, two X's. Oh. That's okay. You have one other opportunity. Well, a couple. Um, if you don't <laughs> screw it up, it'll stay on the red team. If you do screw it up, it'll go to the historic district. No pressure, Warren, but all the pressure's on you. What do you think? What do you say you? Uh, no pressure, no pressure. Um, school. School. Oh, good answer. Service is. What, Good answer. Amazing. All right. Red First time that's ever happened. That's never happened before. <laughs> I keep ringing the bell. That's exciting. <laughs> I know, we need like a special noise for that. Okay, <laughs> all right, good job. Now we have question two. We have Warren and Derek. Warren from the Red Stacks, the Arts District, and the Blue Stars is uh, Derek. So let's, let's, what's going on guys? Let's hear from Warren first. Sure, um, so we're both here because we've been on both sides of the river um, and we'll be again soon. Uh, we started our moving cell um, to uh, vacate our space here on Third Street. Um, it's virtual now, um, but we look forward to starting it in person uh, next Friday when retail uh, can operate again. Um, but we do have a virtual moving cell online, and you can go and see a lot of floor models and just kind of the pieces that we have available right now. That's great. I love I love what you guys are doing. And I have, as you know, I have several pieces in my home from Demasi. <laughs> so excited. I represent. All right. Now, uh, Derek, how are you? What's going on? What are you up to? So we're celebrating four years here at Bethlehem um, this month. So in celebration of that, we've got um, $500 off our very popular Bethlehem Steel Adjustable Dining Table. Um, that's going on right now on our website, demasihome.com. Oh, wow. And that's, that's one of the things I have. I love that table, the kitchen table. All right. So are you ready? 
Right. I like how you're challenging each other. This is very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're so the first person with their all. hands up, it's not the first time it's happened, right? It won't be the last. <laughs> first person with your hands up, it'll go to you. So we're looking for the top six answers. Try to get the number one answer. All right. We asked 100 narcoleptics. What might someone do right before going to bed? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know who it was. Did you see, Tammy? I, I did see, and I saw what everyone else saw, and it was like a legit pot. I feel like it was Warren by a hair, by a Maybe hair. hair. All right, let's give it to Warren. Yeah, let's, let's give, it. give it to Warren. All right, Warren, what do you think? Read a book. Read a book. That's what I do. Let's see, is it on the board? Survey says... Read a story. story. Same thing. Same thing. All right. Now, Derek, you have an opportunity to steal this if you know an answer that is higher than that answer. Yes. Same question. What do you think? What would you do before bed? Um, check social media. Check social. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that, Derek. Up all night. But let's see if it's on the board. Let's hope not. <laughs> Survey says. Oh. Uh, but it goes to Warren, it goes to the red team, even though it's on the board. Good job. All right, red team back in action. We have Lisa up next. Lisa, what do you think? Same question. We asked 100 narcoleptics. What might someone do before going to bed? I'm going to say drink some sleepy time tea or just drink tea. Drinking tea. All right, let's see. Is it on the board? Survey says... Oh, sorry, again. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> All right. I would consider uh, getting another teammate, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Little Red, you're my favorite person today. Little Red, you are up. What do you think? What would you do before you go to bed? You're an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm not sure. Drink alcohol. Okay. Okay. Is it on the board? Let's see. Survey says... Oh, that's okay. You still have an opportunity. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Two X's. You have one more opportunity. All right. We have Laura. You are up. Same question. What might someone do right before going to bed? I'm going to go with brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Good answer. Good answer. You should do that. Yeah. Let's see. Show us the board. Is it on there? <laughs> Survey says. Oh, the number one answer. Yay! All right. Wow. We are looking for the top six. We have three on the board. All right. We have Missy up next. Same question. Think like a narcoleptic. What would you do before you go to bed? I'm going to say wash your face. Wash your face. Again, one other thing. Good hygiene on this team. I love it. Survey says. I'd say yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Take a face bath. All right. Good job. All right. Now we have, we have a face uh, bath. Lauren, you are up once again. What do you think? What would you do right before you go to bed? Maybe watch a little TV. Watch TV. Let's see. A lot of people do that. Survey says, is it on the board? Mm. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Three X's. Okay, now this is where it gets really exciting. This is my favorite part of the game. So the Blue Stars, the historic district, you can talk out loud. Say to your teammates, what What do you think people would do before they go to bed? And then- Come on, Blue. What do you think? What would you do? Yes. Take out your contacts or you take out, off your glasses. Uh, anybody set else? Set your alarm. Set yeah, your set alarm. your alarm. Do your yeah. prayers. Oh, pray. I don't know. Oh, Tell say me. your prayers. That's a good one. Oh, this That's a good one. All right, Yana, it's up to you. You are the team captain. You have to decide. What do you think? What is your answer? What you should do, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> do your prayers. What someone might do. What someone might do before going to bed. Pray. Pray. Is that your final answer? Final answer? Okay. Seems like it. Let's see. Oh, it's on there. Yay! All right. Good job. <laughs> So it goes to the blue team. What's that last answer? Let's see. Put on their PJs. Oh, their PJs. <laughs> ah, All right. We are moving right along. Question number three. We have Lisa and Sam. Lisa from the Red Stacks, the Arts District, and Sam from the Blue Stars, the Historic District. So Lisa, how are you? What's going on? I'm well. Um, I work over at Touchstone Theater on the South Side. We've been around for almost 40 years, 39 years. 
and we're getting ready. I know restaurants and retail are looking forward to next Friday. Uh, we are as well for them, as well as we have an online show next Friday. So you can come to our website and we'll be on YouTube live at seven o'clock for about an hour with a, a new show called Fresh Voices. Okay, is that an invitation for me to perform? I'll take it, I'll take it. Thank you, Lisa. Sure, if you interpreted it that way, why not? Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> All right, now Sam, thank you and good luck to you, Lisa. Sam, you are up, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Sam Reichgott. Uh, my business is Rockin' Good Health. I'm a massage therapist in the uh, Main Street Commons. Obviously, that's not going on right now. But I have uh, had, still have retail online, uh, essential oils, diffusers, lots of stuff that smells great, uh, handmade soaps, topical pain relievers, vitamins, and uh, supplements. So that's all at rockin'goodhealth.com, and I'm thrilled about um, the uh, yellow opening where I'll be able to open the store to retail. Um, limited capacity and uh, we'll see you all soon. Yes, thank you and good luck to you. I have to tell you, Sam, one thing I miss the most out of all this is massages. I miss that the most. You so, and me both. <laughs> I know. One day we'll be back there. All right, good luck to both of you. Now again, whoever has their hand up first, it'll go to you. We're looking for the top six answers. Try to get the number one answer if you can. We asked 100 Christmas enthusiasts. And as you know, Bethlehem is the Christmas city. Christmas. Name something you'd find at the North Pole. Ooh, I saw Sam. I saw Sam. Okay, Sam, what say you? What would you find at the North Pole? I'm thinking snow. No, oh, good answer. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> is it on there? Oh, it is. It's on there. It's not the number one answer, though. So, Lisa, you have an opportunity to steal if you know an answer that is higher than snow. I would say Santa Claus. Santa Claus at the North Pole. Yeah, oh, good yeah. answer. He does live there. All right, survey says, is Santa at the North Pole? Yes, he is. Yes, yes. All right, so it does go to the red team. Good job. So we have little, <laughs> I just laugh every time I say, it. little red, you are up next. Oh God, what would you think you might find at the North Pole? A reindeer. A reindeer. A reindeer. Okay, okay, let's see. Survey. Survey says, is it on the board? Tell me, reindeer. Yes, it's on. Good job. Good job. All right, Laura, you are up next. Little Red was so excited that she knocked her screen over. <laughs> oh, uh, what she makes, what she loses in her voice, she makes up for in theatrics. Okay, <laughs> Laura, you are up. You are up next. What do you think? Same question. Name something that you might find at the North Pole. I'm gonna say elves. Elves. Yeah. Survey says. Elves! Oh my gosh, this red team, I love it so much. All right, back to you, Missy. Same mm. question to you. Name something you might find at the North Pole. Presents? Presents, I hope so. Let's yeah. see, <laughs> survey says, answer your phone. <laughs> Toys, yes! Yeah. All right, so we're looking for one more answer. Can you do it? Warren, you are up next, same question. Name something you might find mm. at the North Pole. <sighs> Well, Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I hope she's still there. <laughs> Santa's there. All right, Mrs. Claus, survey says. I think that was an X, was it? Oh, all kinds of noises. <laughs> that was Mrs. Claus very upset that she's not in the list. <laughs> that was Mrs. Claus. She's screaming from a distance. All right, so Lisa, you are up again. Oh. Me? Right? I think I don't so. know. Did he got it right? Or who's after Warren? Lisa. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot about the three X's and then you're out. Um, <laughs> shoot. I wasn't thinking. Um, Name something you might find at the North Pole. What did you say? Gwyneth Paltrow? Is that what you <laughs> No. I said, what about to kill time? Um, magic. Magic. Oh, yeah, like Christmas magic. Yes, Christmas magic. Let's see. Is it on there? Survey says. Oh, two oh. X's. Okay, now it's getting interesting. Now it's getting mm. interesting. All right, we have a little red up. And <laughs> what would you, what might you find at the North Pole? I feel like she'll know. I just it turns like into charades, this game. Okay. Um, a sleigh? A sleigh? A sleigh. Oh. 
I'm so good. It's a game within a game. All right, <laughs> show me Slay is an on there. Survey says. Hey! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Look that gate, that round again. I know this is so exciting. Good job, good job, red team. All right, don't feel bad about yourselves, uh, blue team. That's okay. All right. So now we have Sherry from the Blue Stars, the historic district, and we have Little Red from uh, the Red Stacks, the arts district. So I would say for for Little Red to tell us a little bit about yourself. Let's see, let's see what she has to to say. She. <laughs> Oh, there's little red follies in December. We can see you there. Oh, that's so exciting. Anything else? Any other notes for us? Summer camps with, with the tea. I don't know what that means, but I'm so Tammy. Oh, yay for Tammy. <laughs> okay, and more, okay. anything else? Um, you're, you're, you love everyone. You're so excited to be here. I'm yeah. so good at this. All right. You and I are going to work together in the future. I can just see it. Thank you so much. Good luck to you, Little Red. And Sherry from the Blue Stars, the Historic District, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, no. We can't hear you. Okay. Sorry. Can you hear yeah. me now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I am uh, Sherry Kirshner with Twisted Olive Restaurant. And um, we are doing a curbside takeout and to go and looking forward to June 5th, of course, for some outside dining. And in the meantime, we're, we've been working on our infusions and have some fabulous cocktails to go. Some really fun things to try out. So come see us. I'm so excited about that. I have to say, I, I, I miss your drinks. I'm excited that we can get them to go now. I love the infusions, so you will see me very soon again. All right. Good luck to you, Sherry. Good luck to you, Little Red. And again, whoever has their hand up first, that should be easy for you, Little Red. You're so used to hand gestures. Um, the, the question will go to you. We're looking for the top seven answers. So we asked 100 kitchen lovers, name something you would find in a kitchen. Well, I saw Little Red. All right. All right. This is so exciting. What do you think? What would you find in a kitchen? The guess. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, mm, a mixer? A mixer. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> a stove. A stove? A towel? Um, a stove. <laughs> no, okay. Right. That's, I have one of those in my kitchen. I'm very lucky. Okay, let's see. Is it on the board survey? It says show me stove. It's number two. All right. Sherry, I feel like you have a real opportunity here. You're very familiar with kitchens. What I am, but what is the top? You know, what's the number one answer? What's in? The I kitchen? think a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay. Let's Good answer. Go. Good answer. Great answer. Survey says, "Show me a refrigerator. Show me in the number one spot." Uh, Yay! Oh <laughs> All right. Good job, Sherry. Now, look, you're going back to your roots. See where that, that plays out? Okay, so we have Claudio. Claudio, you are up next. Same question, name something you would find in a kitchen. Knives. Knives, okay, let's Good see. Good answer. Ooh, answer. Survey says, show me knives. Really? Really? No, <laughs> knives. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, really? all right. That's okay. <laughs> you still have an opportunity. Yana, you are up next. Name something that you might find in a kitchen. Oh my gosh. A dishwasher. A dish oh god, I would I would love one of those. Oh okay, let's see. Okay. Survey says, show me dishwasher. Is that an is that an X? No. X. Timmy, where are you? I can't see you. I think X? your buzzer's broken. Buzz. Oh. oh <laughs> um, no, so no dishwashers and no knives. This is a weird kitchen. What? All right. So Derek, what are they doing are, in that kitchen? What's happening in that kitchen? <laughs> Derek, you're right now. I don't think they're cooking in that kitchen. No, I don't think they are either. Or washing dishes. No. <laughs> Derek, are you there? They're they're doing curbside in that kitchen. <laughs> it's good. It's my kitchen. That's what's happening. All right. Derek. Let's go with um, dishes. Dishes, okay. Good answer, good answer. Show me dishes. Survey says plates. Yeah. Yay! All right. Staying alive. Staying alive. All right, Sam, you are up next. If you have a kitchen, what would you find in there? What would you what would you think, Sam? Mm -hmm. Pots and pans. 
Pots and pans? Good answer. Good answer. Okay, all right. Pots and pans survey says. Good answer. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> what a weird, weird. I got nothing to rattle. Hey, <laughs> that's so bad. Why <laughs> <laughs> people you can't ask questions? They right survey right. me. They <laughs> survey me. I have like one fork in my kitchen. That's about it. All right, now the red team, you have an opportunity to steal. You can talk amongst yourself. Selves, and the same question name something you would find in a kitchen. What do you think? All right, what are you guys thinking? About a microwave. Microwave, sink. A sink. Sink. sink, yeah. What do you guys think? A, a cook or a chef? Mm, cook or yeah. a chef? Would love that. All right. What do you What do you think? Missy what do you think, Martin? Little Red? Well, they're so boisterous. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Missy? Okay. Um. Oh, food. Is that food, Little Red? F oh. What do you yeah, oh, food yeah. team. Food. 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 food, food, food. All right, let's see. We're gonna find food. Survey says, will we find food in this kitchen? This weird, weird kitchen. Yes! Oh, yes! Yay! <laughs> All right. Thank you, little red. All right, so it goes to the red team. Do we see the rest of the answers or no? We don't care about them. <laughs> All right, we don't care about them. We don't care about them. All right, we're going to the next. Next. Oh wait, we do care. Oh, sure. We do care. Okay. Kitchen table. table. Oh, cabinet. Thanks. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Question number five. We have Laura from the Red Stacks from the Arts District and Claudio from the Blue Stars, the Historic District. So, Laura, you are up. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How are you? Hey, I'm great. I am one of the co-owners of CBD American Shaman here on um, Third Street. We're right next to the Faye Bridge, and we're currently doing curbside pickup and some deliveries locally. And we're really looking forward to reopening on June 5th. And since that's first Friday, we're going to be offering our free CBD sparkling water to everyone who visits us that day. So come on in for first Friday. Oh my gosh, that's that's wonderful news. Is it a CBD sparkling drink? Yes. Okay, how many can I get? Can I order? Can I pre-order? I'm just kidding. Okay, thanks. You can? You can pre-order? Yes, absolutely. Oh, all right. And That's you it. can get one for free that day. I'll take two. That means three. Thank you, Laura. Good luck to you. Now, Claudia, you are up. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You look very familiar to me. Did I see you last week? <laughs> yeah, I was here last week. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm from McCarthy's Rest Ad Pub. I'm the marketing coordinator here. Um, we're also very excited as well. We're doing our cocktails to go. We have a bunch of um, boxes as well. We have online. Um, and we have live content every day. So I'm the one behind the camera every day um, on our Facebook page. So yeah, check us out. All right. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. And good luck to you. All right. So again, the first person with their hand up, the question goes to you. We're looking at the top five answers. Trying to get the number one answer on the board. We asked 100 hungry folks, name something for dinner you would eat with your hands. I saw Claudio buy a hair. Buy a hair. Oh no. Claudio, what is your answer? What would you eat with your hands for dinner? Fries, french fries. Oh I love french fries so much. All right, it's gotta be on there. Survey says, show me french fries, show me french fries. Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and you work at a restaurant. I know. Be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just trying to be mean cyberly, cyberly. All right. All right, that's okay. You still have an opportunity. So Yana, you, you are up next. Name something yeah, you Laura. want to eat. Wait, hand. don't I get to go? Oh, yeah, Laura gets it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see sorry. if I can get this a higher one. This always happens, Laura. You're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I guess pizza. Pizza. Oh, oh, pizza. Good, good answer. answer. Good answer. Is it on there? Survey says. Oh, it's on there. Oh. It's the number one answer. Oh, All right. right. I was yeah. trying to get the I was trying to get the blue team on there. Sorry guys. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good job. All right. So now we have Missy from the Red Stacks, our sister. What do you say? Name something for dinner that you might eat with your hands. I'm gonna say a hamburger. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's, they should be called hand burgers. <laughs> Let's see. It's been, a, it's been a long quarantine. Yes. 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 All right. Good job. All right, Warren, you are up next. 
Same question. Name something for dinner that you might eat with your hands. Sandwich. Sandwich. I love sandwich. That. I can make a mean sandwich. Let's see. Is it on the board? Survey says. Tammy, I'm going to give him this one. All right. I would agree. Steak sandwich. Oh, yes. So it's the same thing as a sandwich. All right. Very specific. But... Very specific sandwich. All right. Sandwich. Lisa, now you're up. What would you, what would you think? Name something for dinner you'd eat with your hands. Lisa. Oh, sorry. Um, wings. Oh, wings. Yeah, that's a hand eating thing. All right, let's see. Show us the board. Is it on there? Survey says. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Ooh. Two X's. This is getting exciting. Yeah. All right. I'm so hungry. All right. My favorite person of the moment, Little Red, you are. Red. What Come would on, you eat? Red. God, I hope I can figure this out. Okay. Corn on the cob. Oh, did it. All right. Show me corn on the cob. I get so excited. I feel like I'm winning this game. All right. Let's see. Show us the board. Oh. Wow. What? Was that an X? It was? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. So that's three X's, correct, Tammy? Three? I thought it was three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with three. Let's go with three. All right. Blue Sometimes stars. I see that up too. <laughs> Blue stars, you are up. You have a chance to steal this. So exciting. You, know, you say I cookies. Say, cookies. A hot dog. Yeah. A hot dog. Yep. Hot, hot dog, dog sounds good. Um, ice cream, but that's for dessert. Um, mm -hmm. Trying to think of other things right now. Oh, it. for dinner. Okay, it's yeah, dinner. dinner. Yeah. Right. Yeah, hot dog. I would say hot dog. <laughs> I think I'd say hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, everybody's good. Yeah. everybody. Okay. Blue team says hot dog. Blue team says hot dog. Show me hot dog. Is it on the board? Survey says. <gasps> hey! hey. hey. All right. Let's see. Oh, tacos. Tacos. Forgot about Ooh, okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is so exciting. I feel like it's fairly even, but I haven't really been paying attention. Okay. So now we do the rapid fire round. We need one, one brave, brave individual from the blue team. And again, one from the red stacks. So I'll let you guys tell me who's going to go up. It's five answers as fast as you can. You have 60 seconds to answer. Oh boy. Who's, who would like to go from the blue team? Any any takers, Derek? Audio looks. Audio. <laughs> He's covering his mouth. No, not me. <laughs> I haven't got one right yet. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Who is it? I think we 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 nominate you. Me? <laughs> oh, oh, Derek. You or Derek? Derek and Warren should go up against each other. All right, I'll do it. Matthew, right. Yeah, okay, okay. Right. Derek doing it. So That's Derek, perfect. you can do it. Good job. All right, good luck to you. And we need one person from the Red Stacks, the Arts District. Who do we have? Who do we have? What What do you think, Red Team? What 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 do we got? Warren, Little Red, husband, husband, husband. Little Red. I'm not very husband. The Mossy versus nobody Demossi. wants to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's true. true duel. The Mossy versus the Mossy. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Woo -hoo. No pressure, it? Warren. Yeah. Okay, is that what's happening? Derek I think it is. Oh, this is like oh, his. This is a duel within a duel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a game Let's within go. a game. It's a duel within, within a game. game. I know. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we will have, how about Warren, you go first, okay? okay. That's not good? All right, so you have 60 seconds to answer five questions as fast as you can. The first thing that pops into your head, and probably try to go with the smartest thing as well. You tell me, <laughs> and we'll see if you get your points. All right, okay. So Warren, are you ready? Yes. Okay, we have 60 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Number one, name something you never leave home without. Your keys. Number two, name a place where you might hear music. Uh, church. Number three, name something you'd see at a carnival. Uh, rides. Number four, name a reason that you would be late for work. Your alarm didn't go off. No, I'm going to go off. Number five, name something you might put in your coffee. Uh, milk, creamer. All right, good job. Ah! You did it. You did it. All right. 
This is so exciting. I have one quick question. Go on, Derek. I have one quick question. Name something you'd see at a carnival you said rides. Could you be the, more specific? The little thing I have had. Sorry. You, you will be sorry. You will be sorry. <laughs> okay, Warren, can you be more specific? Ferris wheel. Can I be more specific? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is getting weirder and weirder. Okay. All right, Derek. I'm so excited. Come on, Derek. This is this is so exciting. I hope whoever wins that you yell at the other person when you get home today. Please promise me that. Okay. Don't put the pressure. Don't worry. Thank you, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Derek. You have 60 seconds on the clock. Number one, name a chore that people hate to do. Um, clean house. Number three, name something you, I'm sorry, number two, name something you wouldn't want to discuss with others during the holiday. During the holiday politics. Politics. Number three, name a way people communicated before texting was invented. Calls on the phone. Phone calls. Number four, name something guests do at a wedding reception. Dance. Number five, name an important number you might memorize. Phone number. Phone number. Okay. All right. That's exciting. How do you feel? You did good? Okay. I feel like right. good. Right. Good, good luck to both of you. Now, while Tammy does some weird math, we're going to go over all of the questions. So we have Warren up first from the Arts District, the Red Stacks. Number one, name something you never leave home without. I feel like you said keys. I did. That? Number two, name a place where you might hear music. You said church. Not on there. Aww. Interesting. Number three, name something you'd see at a carnival. You said... Ferris wheel, which is number one, after you were prompted to say that. Okay, number four, name a reason you'd be late for work. And you said your alarm didn't go off. That's not on there. Number five, name something you might put in your coffee. Slept in. You said milk. Wait a minute. I, alarm didn't go off and slept in. Yeah, I counted or, that and slept in. All right. all right. That's what I think, too. He said milk and creamer. Does he get, uh, what is that? Just add him up. He gets 39 points. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's see. So we have uh, rapid fire round B. Number one, name a chore that people hate to do. He said cleaning the house, right? Yep. Derek, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do for that. Number two, name something um, you wouldn't want to discuss with others during the holidays. Eric said, <laughs> Derek said politics. That's the number one answer. Number, one. number three, name a way people communicated before texting was invented. You said phone calls. That was the number one answer. Number four, name something guests do at a wedding reception. You said dance, and that is the <laughs> number one answer. Number five, name an important number you might memorize. I forget what you said. Phone number one. Oh, oh, no. Number one answer. Number one answer. Oh. Good job, everyone. All right. Now, Tammy, did you have enough time to, to do math? I can I can talk to Little Red for a while if you want me to do it. Yeah, okay, Little Red. I, I'm so excited. Oh, she's, she's back. Okay. Can you tell us a story, a 30-second story? Okay. One day, Little Red was swimming in the ocean. Oh, she loves it so much. She's so good. She saw something behind her. She got scared. I think it's a crocodile. I'm pretty sure. She's swimming fast. Oh, gosh. She is swimming so fast. Crocodile is fast behind her. We don't know what's going to happen. She jumps out of the water. She's safe and happy. She have on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's thinking. She's <laughs> back in water. All right. Thank you, Little Red. That was, that was beautiful. All right. Perfect. Okay. Tammy, you are up. No more time for you. All right. Give me a second here. So we started with Warren, and Warren's on the red team. Yeah, Warren is Arts District. He's on the red stacks. If you need more time, I mean, anybody. Hey, keep going. Keep going. You're oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know what else to say right now. So it's Sunday night currently. Yeah. How was every, how was everyone's week? Is everyone excited about reopening? Aren't we reopening on June? Very excited. Yeah? Yeah. And, uh, outdoor seating. Woohoo. I know. I know. And Derek yeah. and Warren, even though this will determine the future of where you guys will go, this duel right now, I mean, good luck to both of no you. Pressure. I love I love your commercial. It was so good. Thanks. Great job, George. Yeah. Seriously, I love it. I felt like um, I felt like I wanted to have my own commercial. <laughs> Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Oh, with Little Red. <laughs> Maybe Little Red. Okay. All right. Great. Tammy. I am good. I'm good. 
Woo! Yeah? All right. So this was, this was really close. I, I made sure to do my math like over and over and over again just to make sure that I had everything in place. And I think I'm good. So, um, yeah. So the red team, you guys, you guys were doing really great the first half. And the blue team, um, Warren – or. Eric completely answered every number one answer pretty much. So it was really, really close. Before I tell you who won, I would just like to uh, say thank you again to our premier partners, uh, Boyle Construction, Historic Hotel Bethlehem, Hyatt Place, Bethlehem, Arabian College, Omega Productive Services, RCN, Sun and Preservation Association, and George Wacker. We love you so much. Thank you, Lehigh Valley with love, for all you do for us with this game. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And again, donations. If you would like to donate to our merchants in the downtown um, downtown Bethlehem Association, two ways to do it, PayPal, Venmo. Uh, we'll also put that in the comments as you're watching. So thank you all so much for coming out. We love you. Um, regardless on either side that we're on, Historic District or uh, the Southside Arts District, um, we're, we're one community and one family. And we are so stoked about moving out of red into the yellow. I was going to wear yellow, but I had nothing yellow. <laughs> look for a blonde. So without further ado, let's talk about the winners. With 993 points, the blue team took it. Whoa! <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> The historic <laughs> and they wouldn't have taken it without Derek. So great <laughs> job, Derek. Thank you. Right. <laughs> and it was close, but it was close. So it was 865 to 993. Wow. Wow. Close game. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Thank you so much. What a great community, right? Oh, I can't wait to get back to it. Thank you so much. And again, don't forget to donate because that's what we're doing. It's all about you win, you win bragging rights as well. So there you, you always have that. <laughs> Great little red. Aww. Oh, Aww, little red. It's okay. We still, love, we still love you. That's something, right? We do. Maybe, maybe be little blue next time. I don't know. Just an idea. Uh. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it, little red. <laughs> Thank you all so much. George, you, uh, some music to rock out Thank to. You. Music.